God, it, they did such a good job at nailing. Oh, yeah. It's so funny because the car is is totally perfect for its probably intended buyer, which is somebody like me. I'll be 40 this year. Grew up around Hondas. Quote, you know, I should have grown up a little bit. I didn't. But right. then Honda comes back with the Type R. It brings back some nostalgia. Totally. You want the car. You've got the money to get it. You get it, right? But then you can leave it stock and you have that car, that sure. adult car. Yeah. Yeah. But then the second you start throwing parts on this thing, man, it, it brings back all of those feelings. It gets loud. It gets fun. I agree. Like they, they know you, but how did yeah, they yeah. start? Like Matt was asking me as you were coming up, how'd you meet this guy? And I was like, shoot, I don't know. I mean, all of a sudden, like I just kind of knew him. I guess it was at Import Alliance, but like yeah, we probably started across, a dealership, right? Probably, yeah, I started a dealership. I was a Honda salesman. Yeah. So I mean, I started driving Hondas back in 87. Okay. Like forever ago, my parents bought their first Honda and they loved it and I loved it. I just couldn't believe how well engineered the car was. Yeah. My dad was a big Chevy guy before that and it was nothing like the Chevys we ever drove. So it was time for me to buy my first car in 94. I bought my first new, a uh, brand new car. I brought a 94 Accord. Okay. And again, I was blown away at, you know, just like VTEC and everything. I was like, this is nothing like any other manufacturer has. So I started like looking at it and tuning it and changing little things on it, making it go faster and having fun with it. Yeah. 96 started selling them because I just fell in love with the brand. I wanted to explain to other people how great the brand was. Yep. So selling them in 90, started in 96 and then started a YouTube channel about eight years ago, just trying to help other people understand, again, understand the brand, understand the technology, some of the features in the car. Because I thought there was so much that people didn't understand about them. And, so and that I, was YouTube eight years ago, so you got on it like a really good I got on pretty early, yeah. And I remember some of those early ones, man. It was funny. You would do like weekly kind of just Honda I, News I did, updates. Exactly. And, I did Honda News updates. I want to still do Honda News updates, but now I've been so busy training Honda salesmen around the country and driving and attending events and stuff. It's tough to get back to yeah. a weekly program as much as I want to. So eight years ago, was it like when did you get like super into like the aftermarket culture? I guess it was before the YouTube channel. I mean, oh yeah, I've been in the aftermarket culture okay. for a long time, probably since the uh, mid nineties. Okay. So. Okay. And then I guess I met you when you had the orange car. Yeah, Project Orange, my SI. So how has like the Honda Nation been? They've been pretty freaking awesome. They've right? been great. No, they've been amazing. Like at the very beginning, it was different because a lot of people didn't know me, and I was a salesman. Right, right. So they're like, oh, wait a second, who's yeah, this salesman guy? Like, right. exactly, I got a lot of like, you're fake, you're phony, you're just trying to make get views, like this is BS, but then eventually, you know, they, they realize that I'm here and I'm not, I'm actually for the community, I'm helping everyone, yeah. I'm, I'm a Honda lover myself. See, that's the thing, man, that's how the Honda Nation is. They are kind of protective of their little uh, culture uh, at first. A little. But once they realize, hey, this guy's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you get like works. the full support, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it really I, is. Like I've seen, like I mean, your growth has been freaking. It's been awesome. Exponential. It's, yeah. It's been good, yeah. So yeah, like, what's next? Happy. I remember one time, this is a couple years ago. You were like, you ain't seen nothing yet. Like, where would you want it to? Like, I don't even know if you can like say. <laughs> Do you even know? Like, where would know. you want it to go? You know what's funny is I haven't planned any of this. Yeah. I haven't written anything down. I haven't planned anything. Everything's just kind of off the cuff, and that's kind of how I roll because I like that more. So that's three. <laughs> right? It's just yeah. like it's just. Yeah. I just I like that. I think it's more authentic. Yeah, that's people cool. get it more. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I definitely want to do more traveling. I want to, um, I want to help connect more people. I want to help connect Honda as a brand to the consumer. Yeah. I think there's a little disconnect there. Yeah. So I want to help with that. I want to help Honda dealerships around the world connect with each other. I want to help Honda, you know, enthusiasts connect with each other around the world. As soon as I go into some place like Guatemala. Yeah. And I do a video in Guatemala. People here go, oh my God, I can't believe those cars are in Guatemala. I'm like, right. they are. Let me show you more. Yeah. Because like, we don't really know what's outside of a little bubble, even with social media. Yeah, so where I tried were you to just that. like last week? Where? Uh, Norway. Norway. Yeah, I was in Norway. Yeah, like, like I don't think about the Norway Honda scene. No, right? Like, yeah, I'm sure it is. Right. No, it's good. And then I got to see the new Honda E, the new electric car. Oh, a, yeah. Dude, it's so cool. Yeah. If it they is. bring it here, like, uh, I'll say it now on film, I'll have to get it. That way, <laughs> this is my little contract. I'm I'm not, I, don't, yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. No one's told me if they're bringing it, but I yeah. think, like, I would suppose they'd have to bring it here. Like, how could I mean, they not bring it here? It's, it's such a, you, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. Like, it is such a perfect mix yeah. of 
old school, just nostalgic Honda and everything really mixed with like the future. It's really yep. weird. They did such a great job of making something futuristic, but not so futuristic that you can't relate to it. It has soul. It, it's, totally. It's awesome. I guess we can pull it here. Yeah, yeah. do it. Um, yeah, I mean, I talked to the engineers and that was a lot of, you know, it was like futuristic retro. You know, they really wanted to make something cool and fun, but paid homage to the Honda brand and, and they, they, yeah, they hit nailed the it. nail on the head, man. Yeah. They they really, really did good with it. Yeah, because so many of those electric vehicles, I mean, don't really have a super reason to want to own one. They don't I mean, own it, one. They it's don't cool you don't have to pay for me. gas. Yeah, I know. Like, oh, yeah, like, for, okay, cool. You know, you look at some of them and they're so appliancey, and then this one has like character. I want to mod it. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Yeah, like, all right, there. With rear wheel drive with a rear motor. Oh. So maybe you could do something to the front wheels. Yeah. Dude, I mean, yeah, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a cult thing for sure. If they yeah. Bring it. Yeah, I I totally agree.